I labeled this uh, training, it's not anyone's fault. So if you look at the complications, the difficulties of people, emotions, uh, conflict, and all of these things that happen. And, and I always say the, the, the difference between like conflict and conversation is going to be the intent behind it. And a lot of people, they're, they're so easy today to point at someone else's fault. If you look at any situation that you're dealing with, it's one person is afraid and another person is confused, right? And anytime that that gets ruffled up, like I remember some situations that I've been in where people were very upset at me for things. And at first I was like, what are you upset for me for? I didn't do it. I do all these things. I And it was all about me, me, me. Then I started to look at the other side and say, well, wait a second. What are they really saying that they're not saying? See that it's the, that's not the hidden agenda. It's the hidden concern that people deal with. And the hidden concern that most people deal with is they're afraid. They have some kind of fear of loss that they're fighting against, right? They fear in losing something or they have something that they're trying to gain and they feel like it's being taken away from them. So if you could kind of, I like to, when you're dealing with the situation, and I know it's easier said than done sometimes, instead of saying it's their fault, it's my fault, I'm right, they're wrong, they're wrong, I'm right, vice versa, whatever, kind of step aside out of the situation and remove yourself and just look at the two pieces. And say to yourself, like, wait a second, how is this person feeling? And say, oh, they're feeling righteous. They're feeling like they're not wrong. They're feeling like they have the correct answer. Then go to the other side and look at their side. And they say, you look at them and you go, wait a minute. They're afraid. If they're wrong, they might be judged. And when you could separate it and look at it, you could really go, okay, wait a second here. There is no right or wrong on this situation. It's just a matter of understanding. And can there be two different understandings? Yeah, of course there can, right? What do they say? There's like your understanding, their understanding, and then the real understanding, the higher power kind of understanding of things. And instead of getting into debates, it's, it's like kind of with the world today, right? One person says you should get this shot. The other one says, no, is there a right and wrong? There's only a right and wrong for you. There's only a right and wrong for you. I think where we get some difficulties is where people try to say, you don't have a right to make your own right or wrong uh, decision. So next time you see something on Facebook or you're getting in the middle of a, a situation for yourself, just kind of step back and say, wait a second, what is the person showing but what are they really not saying? What are they really not saying? They're saying, I'm afraid. I feel like I'm losing something. I feel like something's being taken away from me. I feel like I'm not going to get something back or I feel concerned. And, and the whole thing is comes back to unknown future, right? It comes back to, well, I don't know what's going to happen with my future if this happens. And so one and, and my wife reminds me of this. I want you to, you know, step back and, and think a second and say to yourself, all right, if I'm dealing with something and I'm going to go about with, you know, go forward with this, is, is that going to get me in life where I want to go? Is it really what I want to do now? And whose story is that? Whose story is that? right? If they're upset with you, that's not your story. That's their story. And they have to live with their story. And most of the time people want to go, well, that has to do with you, not me. And it's like, okay, well, even though it's their story, it doesn't mean you want to rub their nose in the, in, in the shit, right? It doesn't mean that that's going to help things. Now, as things get opened up and stuff and people start moving around, they actually get more charged, not less charged. 
right? Because some people are in the dark of what you're allowed to do. You should wear a mask. You shouldn't. Other people are like, I'm free spirit. I'm going to do anything. And there's all these charges that, that start to happen in the world. Especially if you live in New Jersey, you'll see plenty of them on Route 1 or Route 18 or the Turnpike, which is just not fun to drive at all. Does anybody love that? Type in like if you just love driving the New Jersey roads. I mean, the good thing about living down the Jersey Shore right now, down in this area, relatively very quiet, not a lot of people, not a lot of noise. Perfect, right? But before, when you start jumping on this Facebook, step back and go, wait a second, what could that person really be thinking? And Man, it can give you a whole new perspective on how you move forward in life, how you look at things, how you deal with things. Could change the way. Could remove a whole lot of stress for you. So that's what I wanted to bring to you uh, tonight. It's not anyone's fault.